Hey guys, I'm mean, normally I don't get on touchy subjects, but um, I have a friend who is in need of, of advice because she cannot she cannot um, figure it out herself. She basically had this um, trust fund that was inherited to her from her grandparents. Well, um, her parents actually, her mother, actually made her to believe her whole life that she had disabilities. And um, her whole life, she went thinking that she had, you know, ADD, ADHD, big whoop, bipolar, um, anger problems, whatever. When growing up with her, I've actually seen her parents provoke and anger her. That she it wasn't in her fault. Her parents, I noticed, purposely said things and did things and put her in triggers. Like they did things that she that she knows not to go near because she knows that it will make her upset. I don't want to explain it. Like her parents cross the line with a lot of things to make her look like she had anger problems. Well, she grew up on all sorts of medication and stuff. She's better now, but anyways, the trust fund that she was supposed to get, it was originally supposed to be for her anyways, without anything like, and or anyone holding onto it. Well, her grandparents already passed away. Like, she was homeless at the time they changed this. And um, her mother had convinced the the uh, financial advisors that she was afraid that she couldn't hold on to the money, that she would commit suicide. So she told them about all these fake disabilities that that um, she had. And by fake, I mean she doesn't really have them. And I'll explain that later. Anyway, she convinced them to put her on a disability trust, making her mother a trustee. And her mother has count, went on countless cruises and vacations since 2011, I believe, 2011 to now. And now she's going on a budget with the, you know, cruises because she's running out. I'm talking about her mother. She really has no more, not much more money in her trust that her mother has left her. And she finally confronted her mother about it. And her mother looks makes her look crazy in public and makes her look like a psycho in front of all these people whenever she tries to confront her. And she comes out really nice and she seems like she's the best mother ever, but she is a manipulative liar. I've caught her mother when she's drunk saying how much she she feels sorry. How many times she's caught her, her mother I've caught her mother, sorry, saying bad things about her when she's drunk. And she even spilt the beans about how she manipulated to trust. Oh, kitty. What you doing? Anyways. Well, shortly after, a few years later, after she confronts her um, the same year, well, she had remembered what her um, doctor said, her psychiatrist, because she went to talk one-on-one -on -one with him without her mother there. Well, her doctor confessed something, and he told her that she never had any mental disabilities. The only thing that she really actually had was depression, and that's probably due to all of the chaos and confusion and the provocative behavior her parents had given her as she grew up. And really, that's not her fault. That is her parents. So really, he said, you never had any disabilities. Therefore, that means that the trust that she is on is a false trust. That means that she doesn't need to be on disability. And since her mom is holding on to the uh, trust, which makes no sense because during and at the time, at the time that um, this happened, she was also 18 and she was and she is married she was married by that time and um later on um like actually recently somehow her mother has also manipulated the IRS or something and messed up her husband's you know 
social security and stuff. Now he can't be on disability when he needs it. Therefore, there's no money from the state for them, and they are going broke. At the same time, her mother is still spending all of her trust fund money. This is a serious issue because she cannot hire a lawyer because she does not have any money like they are broke. She has no money and no knowledge of how to handle this case. She just, she needs help and since so she can't afford it, she doesn't know how to go about the whole situation and she's so afraid of the future because she doesn't know how to pay for any, any of the future needs. She would have fixed up the house but her mother didn't let her. Her mother said she had the house under her name because they didn't have money to afford a house. She's responsible for all the fixes and all of the damages in the house, which she has not, I repeat, not done one of the things to fix the house. Or she's hired cheap people to fix up the problem. Sweet. What are you doing back there? Sorry. But anyways, I don't know what to do, guys, and I really need your advice for her, and if you could leave your comments down below in the section, it'd really be appreciated. Thank you so much. Bye.